Okay, we'll begin research here. When will these be done? Okay, it's definitely good that we started our upgrade program in the year 37. We should uh, definitely be ready. Hmm. Let's see. We'll get some sturdy equipment. Infantry division will be done very shortly. The time destroyers will be done in time. So great, I mm, will great our mountain. There we go. We'll move some more units up here. The problem with Strasbourg is uh, it can be attacked from three different directions, whereas these ones can only be attacked by one. So it's indeed the most vulnerable part of the Maginot line. Okay. <clears throat> so the infantry have got to be upgraded once again. Um, let's take a look at our diplomacy, our minister's story. But first, uh, da 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 We'll go for the engineers. Engineers, oh, it's near Sa. I swear to god, that's from, uh. Is that from Come to Heroes? I'm sure it's from Come to Heroes. Engineers, oh, it's near Sa. I'm god, I'm sure it's from uh, Come to Heroes or something. Okay, so we have 43 divisions here, 21 here, 25 here. They will have to fight Poland, so we'll see what we can do. We might be able to um, counter-attack and try and force them back a little bit. Put them on their back foot. It will give us time to bring units from other places. Namely, uh, South African units would be lovely jubbly. Okay. Yeah, upgrading is a huge, huge thing. Which I'm actually going to stop for the moment. I mean, um... We're all, well, we're at the level that we need to be. I mean, we have mostly 1936. Germany will have the same, undoubtedly. So we'll settle for that for now. Is it still upgraded? It's still upgraded. Okay. Well, fair enough. Can't build any more men because we do not have the manpower, which is annoying as hell. Okay, let's take a look at our intelligence. Uh, Germany. Ooh. Fun partisans. I'm trying to fund some partisans. We'll try and fund them in the Rhineland. Ooh, we succeeded in funding them. Right, Romania! Please! Oh god, please join the uh, Allies. <laughs> and the computing will help. I know going over some things that like, yeah. Oh god, tanks rise. That is going to be so important. Like, so important, you actually do not understand how important it will be, because it will be very important. Um, let's get the repair. There we go. Right, can we actually produce them? 
Are they a unit? Oh, TD. No. They're just an attachment. Maybe just some attachment that I used to know. So I think what we'll do is we'll cancel one of these um, divisions being built, and then what we can do with the 13 manpower is... Where are you, you saucy, saucy devil? There we go, TD. <laughs> Looks amazing. Let's get as many of these as we can. At least we'll be able to attach them to our units and give them some more uh, defense. Well, just basically more power against the German Panthers, which is what we need. Anything to help take the edge off um, the Germans will be fantastic. I will play war games. Ah. Good, so it's increased the skill level of our generals. Hello, gearing up for war. Yes, please give me more, more sweet. The hand of the Hatay Stokes that's been annexed by, uh, the middle, by Turkey. Okay, here we go. So things are going well. We actually now have some decent IC. Yeah, Hatay. Goodbye. Oh dear, war has begun. Oh dear, dear, dear. <sighs> it has begun. Women work. Prior to the First World War, women's role in society in Western countries was generally confined to domestic sphere and to certain types of jobs. In Great Britain, for example, just before the World War One, out of an adult population of about 24 million, around 1.7 million worked in domestic service, 800,000. Bloody hell, that's a lot of National descent. Oh, great. Hmm. But it would give us more manpower, which we're going to do. Right, national war bonds by war bonds. Okay, propaganda. Propaganda, turning neighbours into foes. Okay, there we go. Fucking, we'll play war games one more time, just to increase the skill of our generals. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Hokey dokey. Donkey. It's about you. Can we push through these lines? We need that organization to increase. We're gonna wait. How long is this gonna take? Oh, that's slow as hell. Okay, can we take a look at our ministers? Is there any minister that we can uh, do something about? This descent is ridiculous. Right. I will take him. The organization regain will be lovely jubbly. Okay, so they're fully operational. Mm, almost there. So it's increasing by 1.5 now. Okay, Poland. You're already being crushed. There we go. Right, so I'm going to attack. I'm going to have everybody support your attack. We'll have the air power to help you as well. If we can just punch through into this one province, that will definitely help. I mean, it's a um, six fortification. It's mountains, so it will it will help. It will definitely help. Right. We'll turn down the speed for this. You've got to be careful that we're not attacked anywhere else.
Okay, the Soviets declared war on Poland. That means that the end of Poland is nigh. Right, we should be able to punch through this. Okay, let's get rid of this. Okay, there's more men here now. I just really think that we should be aggressive at the start. If we can try and push them back at the very least. Then that will definitely help us. The goddamn descent is just ridiculous. Hmm. They do have more tanks than we do. They have more artillery. How do they have more artillery? Hmm. I'll just please break them. Save the nine percent there. This <sighs> talk is taking some time. Yeah, it's because of crossing a river and everything like that. Germany and it's Poland. Hmm. I don't know, was it the right idea to attack the mountains? Obviously it was... I can't, it's going to be reinforced. Okay, actually what I said what I was going to do... They're not actually in the alliance yet. Fuck. Uh, can I assume command? Oh. Oh, please. Damn it. Uh, can we get military access through the run? Of course we fucking can. Hmm. This is all militia, isn't it? God damn it. Well, I can't get them to my land, so that's unfortunate. Canada. You'll give me your troops. Alright, let's try and get as many Canadians. Beyond their range, but we'll rebase them. Alright. The Canadians really don't even need to bother defending themselves. I will also take their planes. Let's just grab what we can. Rebase you over here. We've got a fire train transport wing. Okay. It looks as though we're not going to get through. So we'll just stop now. Let's just regain our organisation. Let's see. Oh, 
Okay, if we can try and reduce our organization level, that will help us. You can just run that superiority, uh, superiority, sorry. If I can get these guys inside, that would be ridiculously good for us. Okay, have our ships arrived? They have indeed arrived. Oh, this is a Canadian fleet. Oh, oh, we have a lot of transports, actually. Where's my fleet? Wow, you take a long time. We might as well just put you down here. They're not attacking our line. Okay, so the Canadians are arriving. We'll bring them over swiftly. Okay, this is really irritating. Okay, that seems to be them all. Oh. Okay, we'll take them. Land over here at Dunkirk. Okay, September 5th. We'll reinforce Strasbourg. South Africa is still not in the Entente. I keep saying the Entente in the Allies. Okay. Royal Canadian Navy is almost there. It, it will really make a difference having, like, another seven, in, like, divisions. <laughs> you would not believe it. Oh, we have some more Canadians. Hmm. Revenge you over here. You can run the air superiority. Okay, 1939 Mountain Division. Start work on the artillery. Really, it's all about the numbers right now. I don't, it's weird that it just doesn't seem to work very well. But it's just not very, it's not worded very well. <clears throat> okay, the Canadians have arrived, or will arrive in a moment. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Another few uh, units of infantry to help us. Okay, let's see what we can do to Germany. Can we fund any partisans? Are you trying to influence them? 
<clears throat> hmm. Oh, there we go. We can deploy some uh, tank destroyers, which will be lovely. suffering somewhat. Okay. Hmm. Strange. Where did the uh, Canadian fleet go? Oh. That would explain it. Well, at least we can uh, pick up some more infantry divisions. That would be lovely. That's right, going to be a moment. Alright, we'll rebase you to Dunkirk. But yeah, these um, extra infantry divisions from Canada will definitely help us. And when we can, we'll bring in the infantry divisions from South Africa. I am sorry about that. I am currently trying to eat and apparently that didn't work out. Nom nom. <laughs> hmm. We assume military control of you. We can't. Oh, we can take uh, the Syrians. I will actually do that. They might be just militia, but oh my god, I'm going to need more men. They're actually quite experienced as well, that's pretty cool. Okay, good. Can actually deploy more infantry now. Right, October 13th. Or just generally October, so in a few days they'll be ready. Okay, let's get rid of this. It's getting a little bit annoying. There we go. That is really fucking not cool right now. Right, the Canadians are almost here as well. So 
send the Canadian ships out. Uh, we can also send out some of our own ships as well, to be honest. That's really annoying to have those uh, provinces rebel right now. Because it is quite an annoying suck. Hmm. Alright, let's focus on getting our upgrades finished. Okay, we'll talk here. Brian's gonna help with our logistics. Pre-plan defense. Okay. So with the Canadians, we can use them to basically uh, push into Belgium. That will help. Why does it take you guys so long? October 28th. You were only going from there to there. Okay. It's so strange that we've got so little IC. Ah, there we go. This will be a really good technology for us if we can just get that just to uh, lower the number of days that it needs. Well, we need to uh, build new infantry divisions. So we've got all this uh, manpower we need to try and use it. Just, <laughs> just try and use it, really. How's the upgrades going? Yeah, we've got 1939 divisions. on so fucking much. What's your speed? Only eight. Holy crap, that's terrible. Okay. Right, we can um, allow our supplies just to drop a little bit. Right, hold it there. Let's put it all into a great to just get it done as quickly as absolutely bloody possible. Supplies are looking okay. Oh, they move so slow. Okay, instead of that, we can just have those militia from down there, sort of that. I was hoping the British will send troops. Hmm. 
Okay. So, so far the line seems to be holding. The only issue is, we'll have a completely different... Right, actually, I'm gonna start building more fortifications here again. I mean, if we can get some, that would be lovely. Does anything slow down the Germans? Okay. Right, I think our upgrades have finished. Oh, almost. They're getting better. Yeah, the descent is pretty goddamn hardcore. It's going down by such a small amount. Right. There we go. Well, actually, to be fair, they take way too much IC. It's like 5 IC per fortification. We, we can use that to get more men. So let's try and get that. Um, what do we estimate the strength of Germany to be right now? 134 infantry divisions, 3 armor divisions, and 7 HQs. Obviously, they will be further augmented by the guys over here. I have no money. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that is scary. Hmm. Okay. So we're looking okay for the moment. We'll just turn the speed up a little bit. There we go. It's when he attacks the Netherlands and etc. Are you fucking kidding me? Why are they fucking rebelling now? That is really irritating, to be honest. Right. I wish I had somebody who gave me straight to more industrial capacity. Well, he gives me a little bit, so we'll switch to him. Hmm. 